Remember, if you like this video, don't forget to press the subscribe button and press the notification bell so you will be alerted to when I have new videos. Welcome to another episode of Mock Fishing. In this episode, we'll go back to Matterwoman Creek with Mike and myself to go after the blue cats, but this time from a kayak. This time, we would launch our kayaks from Slavin's boat ramp. The weather was calling for rain on Saturday, but we watched the weather forecast change as Saturday approached. By looking at the radar maps, we saw that the rain would end by around 12, 1230. And sure enough, it did. It got warm, water was calm, and you'll see, but the weather was good. On this day, we were fishing the outgoing tide. Well, it's raining. Um, rain's supposed to stop by noon. It's about 11.30, heading down to Matterwoman to go play with some kitty cats. Mike's gonna meet me down there. So we'll fish for a couple hours and see what we can catch. Shore fishing was not good last week, so we're gonna try to test out kayak fishing this time. Well, made it to Matter Woman. There's two cars here already, um, but there's still three spots available. Mike's on his way. He had to make a couple of pit stops, otherwise he would have been here before me. So I'm going to unlock my kayak and get it down and set up my rods. The rain is just about done, as predicted, and um, and then we have worms and we have um, alwies and a mud shad for bait. So I get to see what. Uh, the catfish are going to prefer. I may go to the right of the ramp first and then I'll go to the left. I'm not sure yet. This is how I lock my kayak down. I got this python lock that's great. It has rubber so it doesn't damage or scratch your kayak. And you can tie it down. It's real long. So I normally put it through my scupper holes. There you go. And I put it through my slipstream rack and the factory rack also so it's like double so that's how i lock it down and here comes mike he arrived time to take the yaks off the top of the cars okay we launched it's uh 204 p.m there is no rain almost no wind the water's calm as you can see around me just left the ramp and i'm just drifting i'm letting the uh, current take me for the start and where we have uh ly's worms and mike got some chicken again so we'll see how all that works out there's a couple of uh bass boaters out it looks like no other kayaks or canoes or anything like that so let's see if this is better than shore fishing I did not get this battle on film, but I landed my first fish. Is that thing recording? Oh yeah, it's recording. Yep, there's my fish, chunk of fish there, LY, and a two ounce weight. A bank sinker weight with the basically the fish finder rig. I'm heading over to another location to try to catch some fish. I caught some fish here within the first uh, 40 minutes, but it's kind of slow. But we're doing much better than we did last week from shore. Hmm, I see two egrets just walking in the shallow point there. Here is a better view of the egret and the wildlife I saw. Okay, now that I have my one keeper catfish, I'm gonna try to catch a keeper catfish on the other side of the river. So I'm heading upriver now. 
All right. Here's my fish finder rig. You see how it slips back and forth. And I got the fish on there. And I'm just going to toss it. I'm not anchored right now. I'm on the way to one of the places I want to fish, but I'm excited uh, just to check some areas as on my way up there. I'm going to use my pedals, since I have a pedal drive, to slow down my drift because I'm going backwards with my drift. So I'm just doing a slow pedal to kind of keep myself stationary. And I have the rod in my hand to feel if I feel any taps. If I don't feel any taps in the next couple minutes, I'll pick it up and keep on moving. Mike should be on his way. He was playing around by putting a fish head on his hook. And I think he had a fish that was nibbling on it, but it was too small to swallow the bait he had on there. He caught something else also, and it broke his line, so we're not sure what that was. Whether it was a carp or a gar or a, a big catfish. It's out here, um, still making my way to the fishing spot, not really hitting anything or registering anything um, so far. But the water temperature is 51.1 uh, degrees, and the air temperature is in the 50s. So, not bad. It got a little warmer than we thought. But the water's calm as you can see. The wind's not blowing hard or anything. And the current's not too bad. I'm just dragging this one fish with me on a stringer. <laughs> it's hooked up with looks like a keeper. Blue cat. You gotta pull out the net. Yeah, that looks like a nice one. Yeah. That's an eating size. Maybe a 21 inch or maybe. I can't tell from here. All right, we all got a keeper now. It looks like I got one on now. I haven't even gotten to my location yet. He's doing a good pull. Let's see, let's see what size he is, if I need a net or not. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh, he's going under my kayak. Come back here. Let me just take a good look at you. Oh, he's leaping. <laughs> you are not a tarpon. <laughs> ah. All right. Woo. All right. He don't want to play nice, huh? I'm gonna bring him up. Oh, there he is. Ah. Oh, he's about probably another 24 croaking oh yep uh. Uh. like i said we haven't even gotten to the spot we want to go to yet Let me get a pliers here. Yep. I toss one back. Yep. You toss a smaller one back. But you're going to get another one in a few minutes. I want to get one on this big head. Oh, <laughs> if you do, I don't think you'll be keeping them. Take a picture of this guy. I'll measure him later before we start heading back. Okay, let's see. And I gotta put him on this. Come 
you. Come here. Come on, you tasty. Well, you're not a tasty crustacean, so. Uh-oh. It's not holding, though. Oh, he might be small. I'm trying to get this one to open his mouth. Ah, there we go. Oh, no, that's a fish. That's fighting back. Ah, there we go. There we go. There was a baby. Hopefully I got the fight on it. So, I'm at my limit. Me too. Now it's going to be just fun catching. <laughs> Let me see. Here we go. Ah, oh, yes sir. Two nice city cats about the same size. Alright, so I'm going to just use big chunks of bait now. What's that? I'm going to go to big chunks. Yep. Okay. Mike and I both got our keepers. So, Mike, how is it uh, fishing off a kayak compared to the shoreline last last week? Fishing from a kayak is much better. Ah, uh, okay. So. All right, good. Look at that little kitty cat. That is one nice blue catfish Mike caught. Okay. I need some more bait. Some more. Cut them in chunks. Okay, so give me a couple chunks there. Alright, throw this one out. Still got the tail on it. Okay, both rods thrown in opposite directions. Tighten this up. Hey Mike, I just realized you forgot to get the two ounce weight. I didn't think about it either. I'm good for right now. I want that one to go much further. I want it to go out there. Yep, there we go. That's better. Throwing them far apart like that avoids them from crossing if I hook up with fish. I don't get my lines all crossed up. Alright. Alright. And we'll see what happens. Oh, I think. Is that a fish? Look at that, look at that. Oh, I think I'm on. Fish on. Oh, he, oh, he got off. Sounds good. Got off. Let's see if he took the bait. Oh. Take the bait, I don't know. He ate the head. <laughs> All right, put a chunk on here. There we go. Make sure everything's loose. There we go. Let's try this again.
Okay, this one looks like it's bouncing. I think you could see that. I don't know if they took it yet. If he's hungry, he's going to swallow it and it's going to bend good. There it goes. Another fish bouncing. I didn't get anything in this hole. Yep. Hooked up. There we go. A hole. Aha. Come on. The pop up. Oh. There he goes. Number three. I'm just gonna carry him up. You gonna give me my bait back? I guess not. You're gonna eat it. All right. I'll let him go. Not quite the good fillet size I like. All right, let's put another line on. Oh, I think there might be another one nibbling on the other one, maybe. Or I'm hooked, one or the other. Nah, it's just dragging, I think. About two body parts and oh something's going on here on the right look at that let's see if you'll swallow it let me hold on to that rod he's like playing is he coming up to me look at that look at him go look oh fish on I put fresh bait on. Woo! All right. Fish number four. Let him go. Okay. You greedy little devil. You're just lucky I'm going to let you go. So I can get the hook out. There we go. Got no. All right. He did was nice enough to leave me with a busted up piece of bait. I have to put another piece on because that ain't gonna work. Put a tail there. All right. Landed four fish so far. Sun's out. It's warming up. Little to no wind. Flat calm with just a little current. Okay. It's so light. Um, we're just basically drift fishing. Haven't even had to put out the anchor. Uh, we're moving just slow enough to where the line's just slowly bopping off the bottom of the ground. I'm hearing fish jump around me. I let that one go too, so I'm up to four as well. Let him go. Mike just told me he caught another fish. So he's up to four fish, and I'm four fish. That's eight between us, not including what we let go. And uh, considering last week we got zero, the kayak is winning out. Fish on. There we go. Just threw us out in another spot. Fish on where I moved near the island. That's the choke point. Yep. Ah, oh, come on. There you go. Another guy. Another throwback.
trying to get it with my hands, but I may have to use a pliers. Oh, no, there you got it. Oh, come on, you. There you go. About 20. I'm trying to get like 22. Okay, as you can see, the sun is uh, behind us here, and it's nice, getting nice weather. Um, you can see it's flat calm, perfect for kayaking, especially for beginners. Um, I may have to do a meetup probably over here one of these days, since there's a lot of people that want to get out and uh, fish. So anyway... Uh, we're going to be here probably another 30 minutes and then we're going to start heading back so we can uh, clean these fish and, and uh, head up the road. I'm trying to get three now. I was only going to get two, but I'm trying to get three keepers. I got others, but they weren't the right size that I wanted, so I released them. And same with Mike. The line went slack and then all of a sudden it got tightened. Oh, there he is. It's a fish tapping. I don't know if he's hooked yet. Yep, he's pulling. Got him. Uh, pull up this one. Get this one out of the way. Oh, okay. Feels okay. Feels like a decent one. Breaking water. Oh yeah, got my keeper. Ah, yes, you. Ow. I just threw him out. Just saw that line dip. It's it's moving. The line is moving. I think something's on it. Oh yeah, fish on. Uh. Yep. Yep. Oh, this is a good one. Oh yeah, keeper. Oh, this one's for Mike. <laughs> Just don't lose this one. <laughs> I'll see if I can hold on to that one for you a little bit. Maybe that you don't have a stringer. Yeah, cause what I want to do, I want to see if I can try to clean them at the ramp. So we go home with fillets, not, you know, guts and everything. Oh, he's a nice fatty too. Got a good fillet on him. Come here, come here you. There we go. Like he wants you just stay in the boat. Now I got a fish between my legs. I'll definitely use the motor now. <laughs> Dude, come on, come on, you fat thing. Stop it, stop it, stop it. 
Oh, nice. See? Nice. nice. About the size of the others I had. I'm in 13 feet of water right here. Oh, let's get out of here. Sit still, fish. And then these are... I gotta put these on the side. There we go. Lift them out of water a little bit. I think you're going real shallow, I think. Huh. I got some marks right now between you and me. But what's that? Yep. What? Yep. Yeah, it's 13.2. All right, Mike and I are heading back. It's six o'clock, the sun's setting. So we got to load up and hopefully we'll have time to clean these fish. Also, temperature is dropping a little bit. But I've landed about six fish, kept three. Mike landed four or five. I think he lost two and then let one go. So we'll see you back at the ramp. Let's see, let's see what size he is, if I need a net or not. Oh, yes. Oh, got there. Yep. Oh, he's going under my kayak. Come back here. Let me just take a good look at you. Oh, he's yeah. leaping. Okay. You are not a tarpon. Ah. All right. Woo. All right. You don't want to play nice, huh? Bring him up. Oh, there he is. Ah. Well, he's about probably another 24. Croaking. Oh. Yep. It was a race against time as the sun set. We wanted to get to shore so we can clean these fish. Here was my portable fish cleaning station. We made use of it with what little light we had. Blue catfish, the other white meat. Once again, we were starved. We didn't eat much on the water. So we ended up going back to Tapanyaki Grill for more seafood. This was a very successful day. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and until next time, be sure to check out my other videos.